My name is Alistair Lee, and in this video, I'm going to walk through the process of creating an offline video from your Adobe Connect recording. I've got a meeting open here in Adobe Connect Central. When I click on the Recordings tab, I can see all of the recordings I've made in this room. Now, by default, Adobe Connect recordings are interactive. That means I can play this recording back in a browser or in the Adobe Connect application and interact with it. I can download files from a file share pod. I can click on links. I can interact with some of the other content inside of the Adobe Connect room. Sometimes, though, it's handy to have a flat video file. If I wanted to upload this to YouTube, for example, it would be nice to have an MP4 copy. I can do that easily in Adobe Connect by using the Actions menu. When I click on Actions, there's three options available. I can edit the recording. If I'd like to cut pieces out of the timeline, I can use this option for doing that. Or I can create an offline version, either using the old classic view, which is a flash-based view of the recording, or the new standard view, available in Adobe Connect 11.3 and later. Let's create a standard view version of this recording. I'm going to select that option and it will open up in a new window. So my recording has opened up, but you'll notice the content hasn't loaded into these pods yet and this has not started playback yet. That's because I haven't started the conversion process. Adobe Connect is going to let me adjust the recording before I create the offline copy. And I can do that by clicking on the settings icon down in the bottom right hand corner here. When I select that, you'll notice I've got some different options. I can hide some of the content in the version of the recording that we're making. For example, if I want to anonymize attendee names, I can click on this attendee names option. And you, you'll notice over here in the attendees pod, people's names change from their real names to anonymous users. I can also do something like hide the attendee pod altogether, so it's not even part of the recording. I can do the same thing with the chat pod and the Q&A pod to hide any personally identifiable information from the recording, especially if we want to play it back in a platform like YouTube. I can also adjust the video quality for the recording that we're making. So if I want HD, that's the default. I can just leave that default setting, but I can also use full HD or set my own resolution by selecting these drop-down list boxes here in the settings. I also have the ability to record silently. This will re still record the audio that was part of the recording, but you won't see that as the recording is getting converted. So you can have that playing on your desktop without listening to the recording as it's playing back. I'm gonna choose this option to record silently and then click start recording when I'm ready. Here I can specify the file name that's going to be generated, as well as the location on my computer where the file will live, and the format will be set to MP4. I'll hit continue, and that will play back the recording, creating an MP4 version on my desktop. That's a quick look at creating offline versions of your recordings in Adobe Connect. Thanks for your time.